if we feed the cow with 1% of aspergillus, it can cut the methane emission more than 90%. So that is a huge significant for livestock farmers and for environment as well. And we are the first company that use nanotechnology for aspergillus to improve germination. I came to UNSW in 2017 to do a PhD in nanotechnology. And at the end of my PhD, I realized my nanomedicine can be applied for agriculture. So we use a nanoparticle to deliver fertilizer and pesticides. Our nanoparticle can slowly release the nutrients for the aspergillus, which means it will not kill the aspergillus, but it can slowly release so the grower don't need to apply the aspergillus several times. It increases the productivity and save the cost for growers. The nanoparticle can work for plants as well. And here's one of our nanoparticles. In the powder, you can apply to the soil, and in the chair, we can cut on the seed. And in the liquid form, we can spray to the leaf or add to the irrigation water for farmers to use. What we found was when we add our silica nanoparticle into the aspergillus media, it increased the germination to 100% compared to only 67% without our nanoparticle. So this is the plant without the nanoparticle treatment and this is with the nanoparticle treatment and the root is almost twice bigger than the one with the nanoparticle. The plant can get more nutrients and water so which means the plant can grow faster and more productive and can help reduce the use of fertilizer and water for the plant as well. For the next three to five years our product can help cut the cost of aspergillus at least 50% so farmer can get the product more affordable. And methane emission is one of the significant impact on the farming activity, particularly in Australia. So if we can cut the methane emission, it is significant for environment and for Australian farming and livestock industry as well.